When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today, you guys, I have an absolute treasure trove. I cannot believe a Swamp Family member was so generous. Like, literally, I, I am like, oh my god. You guys, I took a sneak peek at, like, the very first items. I need to slow down. I'm, like, so excited, you guys. So, um, I started opening some Swamp Family Mail video coming soon, and one of the packages that I opened up is from Sonia in California, and she sent me a lot of amazing nostalgic stuff, a lot of vintage stuff from the 90s, but a couple of things she sent is these massive vintage sticker collections. Look at these two huge sacks of like some of the most holy grail. I just have to start showing you guys. So I'm sure y'all can see these are like super full of stickers. And it's been a long time since we've just like done a relaxing like flip through of vintage stationery and stuff. I think we've done this once before with stickers and paper and I think some Sanrio stuff. But you guys, this is just too good to not share. And I feel like this is gonna like tickle a lot of like nostalgia fibers in a lot of y'all's heads too. Because look at this, you guys. I saw that this was right on the top. I don't know what year these came out because um, it looks like the copyright and stuff is a little torn off of the bottom. But look at these packaged Lisa Frank Halloween. I think these are miniature notepads. Then she sent these, which, oh my God, I distinctly remember having these. And I always thought that they were rulers, but I guess you're technically supposed to break them apart and just give away like one square stencil at a time. I feel like I used to use these as a ruler or a bookmark or something. I definitely remember having the spider. And then these I have never seen before. They're magnets. And I'm honestly like so torn. Like, do I open the packaging or do I leave them like this? You guys, it is days like today that I truly miss Tumblr. I really do. Maybe I need to get into Pinterest, honestly. Like maybe Pinterest is like the new Tumblr, but I miss just having a place to like scan stuff in like this and then just like share it with the world. I feel like there's no place like that, like as much as Tumblr used to be. Now I'm getting sentimental over Tumblr. But oh my god, Sonia, if you're watching this, huge thank you. I like literally cannot believe like oh my god. All right. So, the other thing I want to do is like put these in an album, you guys, because I'm kind of conflicted if I'm even going to try and ever use these. I actually have found a sheet of my own Lisa Frank stickers from like my childhood a thousand years ago. And when I tried to peel them off, they like wouldn't stick. I feel like somebody like just told me a story like that, which is like, don't save your stickers, use your stickers. And then I tried to use them and they like all like rolled away. But then again, I think mine were in the attic for a million years. So I don't know, but oh my God, there's honestly just something aesthetically pleasing to me about leaving these vintage sheets of completely like look at these I've never seen some of these Lisa Frank designs before this is like art to me you know like my serotonin levels right now oh my god the ghosts you guys I'm about to show y'all ghosts in a minute I really love these two the scarecrows oh my god I've never seen those <gasps> this one's my favorite one though this green little ghosts. Oh my god. Unicorns, ghosts, bears. See, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Oh my god. The dolphins. You guys, I don't even remember what the penguin's name is. Do you guys remember Lisa Frank penguin? So of course these were also, these are like, I keep interrupting myself because that's how excited I am. Look at these skeletons. I've never seen these before. Witches. I definitely remember the witches. I think we have a couple. Yeah, we have two sheets like that and two sheets of the skeletons. I might try and use one of the sheets of the skeletons. You guys, and now I've like cut myself off. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like these were meant to be the party favor sheets as well. Cause I don't know if you guys can tell, but like there's perforation right here. So you could like just give these out at Halloween or something. Can you imagine? Oh my God. We also have these bookmarks in here. And I mean, just look at these witch dolphins. 
Oh my God, isn't this dog's name Casey? I kind of can't remember. Skulls, my favorite. And then ghost, look at the little bunny. Ghost bear. Oh my God. Okay, we're about to get out of the Lisa Frank stuff and into something else. Oh my God, you guys, these are temporary tattoos. Some of the same characters, some different characters. 100% amazing. And then there were three Lisa Frank Halloween coloring books. Oh my God. I'm not sure if they're all the same on the inside, but like they're these little activity books. Oh, they look different. That's kind of amazing. Like each design is like, it's, yeah, each one is different. That's wild and crazy. See, that's more like scannable stuff that I would just share with the world. And you guys, the other thing I saw in here, if you are a vintage sticker collector, I feel like this is just a holy grail item. Like I have memories of getting these. I feel like they used to sell these and you have to let me know if your school did stuff like this too, because not only did we have like the Scholastic Book Fair, heaven on earth, but we also used to just have these like random school sales. Like they would put it in like, we had these like metal like auxiliary buildings and they would just have like random items that they would sell at the school and like i did other schools do this like looking back on it i'm like okay that's kind of different but like i loved it um look at these you guys these are slightly liquid filled okay and you push down on the sticker and the liquid slushes around i feel like i distinctly remember having a dolphin sticker like this i was like recently looking to see if anybody was like selling these on etsy all right you guys we have more sticker these are all stickers we have more halloween look these are individually wrapped Ooh, from hallmark you guys hallmark used to make like amazing seasonal halloween stuff look at these uh, teddy bears and halloween costumes <gasps> a ballerina and what are you a clown are you a clown guys this is why i think we're not going to be able to like get through everything because i would spend 20 minutes telling you sticker memories i smell it i don't even have to scratch and sniff you guys this is amazing look three of them I don't know why my camera is like fighting me today. It doesn't want to focus. Look at this, you guys. It's scratch and sniff toothpaste. And as it like wafts past my face, it smells minty. You guys, just the design of every single one of these stickers. Amazing. I've never seen these mad trouble stickers. This phone booth reserved for blank. I guess you could like hang this in a phone booth and like prank people. I've seen stickers like that before where you're supposed to like stick them in public and tell people like things are like voice activated so you can just get people like in the bathroom screaming at the hand soap dispenser or something. All right, you guys, we have these animal stickers. I keep looking for a year on any of these, but look at that. Is that a koala in the middle or an owl? That's an owl. It's an eagle. It says right on it, harpy eagle. And then we have these. <gasps> you guys, I swear I've seen this design before as an original Lisa Frank sticker. I'm gonna have to like go down a rabbit hole, but I swear this is, this is from 19... 83 this sticker is older than me i think some of these are original lisa frank designs i specifically remember seeing this sealed with a kiss but look at these designs have a rainbow day nice buns earth calling nice buns these rolls have butts Oh my god you guys i'm gonna have to scan these in these are super cute highlights Oh, this was Highlights Magazine was like some of the highlights of my childhood. I loved Highlights Magazine. It probably does not exist anymore, unfortunately. I remember I would spend hours doing like the, they had those like pictures where it's like, find all the things that are different about like picture A from picture B. <gasps> Ooh, nacho. Oh my God, you guys, this 
really smells like Doritos. Nacho taco chips scratch and smell. Oh, you guys, I wish we had Smell-O-Vision on YouTube. All right, we have some whales. These are from 1979. You guys, these are so vintage. This is so cool. I like really did not know that like super sticker collecting stuff was like a thing before the 80s. I feel like maybe that's like a goofy thing to say, but look at these Pennzoil like the motor oil company. Fascinating. Purple makes life bearable. You guys, I love stuff like this because we used to have a totally purple store. I think there's still one in San Antonio, but I definitely miss like brick and mortar, like niche little stores like that. There was like a store, I swear we had one in our local mall too, and it was everything purple. Like everything in the store was purple. I wonder if that's like a thing anymore where it's like, I feel like so many people. Why was liking purple like kind of such a big deal <laughs> like back in the day? I don't know. People acted like it was like their whole personality or something. So like love the color purple or like be left-handed or like something like that. I do love the color purple. Ooh, from the year 2000 and it's balloons. And you guys, I really miss like scrapbooking stores. I know I talk about this all the time, but like scrapbooking stores where like they had a whole room of just sheets of stickers that you could buy. Amazing. Okay, so these are all Christmas stickers. We have another, look at these. You guys, I'm so conflicted. Do I open these or not? They are scented and I wonder like scented like what? Okay, they Christmas cookies maybe? They are all cookies and they are Christmas themed. So I bet it's Christmas cookies. Ooh, flocked. Do you wanna touch it? I love you. A beautiful flocked sticker. We have Mrs. Grossman stickers. Look at that. Three strips, they are hearts, and then they have rainbow polka dots inside. I love it. Um, we have these, which these kind of look like Victorian. Oh, it says my heart's dearest. These kind of look like some um, Victorian reproduction sticker seals. Look at those. And then these, for some reason, are so familiar to me. And I don't know why. They're like generic happy faces. But they also look like a little different. You know what I'm saying? I swear I had these. We have more happy faces. These also look very familiar to me. I hope like all the camera focusing isn't driving you guys crazy. There may be a part two to this, you guys, because we are 15 minutes in and I still have so much amazing stuff to show you guys. All right, we have a rainbow and we have is this what I think it is. No, okay. I thought it was Mr. Yuck Face. I swear they probably don't give you Mr. Yuck Face stickers anymore. That's another thing. I've been on the quest for like OG Mr. Yuck Man stickers. All right. K Zap 98.5 FM. If you guys recognize this um, radio station, if it's like local to you, let me know. Y'all cannot believe when I learned out um, Froggy whatever is a real radio station from the office. I like literally just thought it was like a thing that they made up in the office. We have, look at this OG Michaels sticker. We have angels. And once again, these look very Victorian. 1988, I think is when these are from. We have some beautiful shells. These kind of look like they would go with the whales. We have these, which these are super cute. You guys, I'm dropping so many stickers down here. These look like they came out of a book or something. Super cute. I'm gonna have to carbon date these as a more modern sticker. And then we have these, which I wonder if these are from something like a radio station or something as well. These are called Sticker Treats 1983. I feel like I'm gonna give one of these to my mom because she loves teddy bears and I feel like she would totally stick that like on her phone case. Seagulls, we have a whole flock of them. And then we have this, oh, look, 
Oh my God, you guys, I thought it was like peeling off of the paper. I have never seen a sticker like this and my mind is blown. It's like a three dimensional butterfly sticker. Look at that. This is the sticky sticker part. This is the floaty flyy part. Forever in time. I don't know who sells that. Joann's maybe? I don't know, but look at these. <gasps> I'm gonna try and spell bunny. I bet I could. Cause it looks like we get two A's. I swear. Yeah, okay, can we? B? Oh, we need two N's. Can I turn the U upside down? No, cause I need a U too. We have two U's. I feel like I'm only gonna go through a little bit more today because you guessed it, camera overheating. I can no longer see myself in the monitor, which means I don't know if anything is in focus or not anymore. <gasps> scratch and smell the skunk. I don't know if I want to, but I'm gonna scratch it cause the smell is not like immediately there. It does smell kind of funky. Oh my. God, you guys, sweat? Oh, no, no sweat, no way. Look, they're all, this has to be from the 80s. I feel like this is like very 80s looking. Oh, no zits, no bugs. It's all like no things, things you don't want, I guess. Uh, we have more no's, no smoking, no homework. Well, all right there. And then is this scratch? Oh, scratch and smell the leather saddle. Okay, that's a better scent than a skunk. Let's see. Ooh, this smells good. This definitely does smell just like a leather saddle. Leather. Oh, these are all... Okay, this one I actually can smell already. It's supposed to be... Wait, does that say life flavors? <laughs> life... Oh, life flavors. It does have a candy scent to it. Sniffy peanut butter, like Jiffy. Oh my God, are we... Getting into wacky package territory now. Y'all, I'm shocked. I have to look up Mellow Smellows because I'm shocked like how fragrant all of these still are. Look at this, peaches. Is this a peach ice cream you guys think? It smells just like peaches. Raspberry Go Play yogurt, like Yo Play, all right? This is like maybe the first one that I've encountered that like doesn't have any scent left to it. All right, you guys. I bit off more I can chew. If the if the camera turns off, I love you guys now. Popcorn, this definitely has more of like a buttery scent to it. I feel like this could be like a challenge. Like, what are you smelling? Strawberry shake? Ooh, let's smell it. Um, It smells like a strawberry wafer cookie and I love those. Scratch and smell baby powder. You guys, these are all like so cute. Retro aesthetic. Oh, I forgot to sniff this one. This smells like delicious smelling baby powder. I feel like that's not a smell that I like a ton usually, um, but that smells great. Okay, I'm probably gonna love this one. Oh yes, I do. I love licorice. I love the smell of licorice. I love the taste of licorice. Mr. Tubble, like Mr. Bubble. Oh my God, it's like not focusing at all now. Mr. Tubble, Mr. Telly Tubble. That does kind of have a soapy scent. Oh, okay, last scented one I picked up, Caramel Apple. Love that. Mm, this one actually like doesn't have a scent. Interesting. All right, you guys, and the last one that I picked up are these three-dimensional bird. Once again, these kind of have like a Victorian look to them and they have foam on the back. So if you stuck them to something, they would have like a three-dimensional look to them. Anyway, you guys, let me know if y'all want a part two. I am itching and scratching and sniffing to see what is in these other two bags. You guys, we didn't even get into this one at all. It's gonna be so hard for me to not just keep digging through these now. Anyway, you guys, thank y'all so, so much to Swamp Family member Sonia once again for sharing this treasure trove with me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. Let me know if you wanna see a part two. And I have to scan these in and share these with the world somehow. But anyway, you guys, if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.